Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and here I'm going to show you how you can create Neuralink in Katia V5 in the Part Design Workbench. So basically, this Neuralink is being done with a combination of surface design and the part design. So firstly you need to switch to the wireframe and surface design and you need to create a revolve of a profile. So I'm going to create profile give a dimension for that around 40 and uh, 100 and uh, around 120 and I'm going to come out of the sketch and use the revolve command make it 360 and uh, I need to make a sketch axis so I'll just select this and I'll create a long line come out of the sketch, select this use the revolve command select the revolve illusion axis and give 360 click OK so once that is done now I'm going to select this point and create a helix so the axis, in the axis you need to select this axis and uh, as this is in the reverse direction you can click the direction and in the height you need to give, as you have given 120 you can give the height as 120 itself and the pitch should be double, more than double of what you have given so it will be half of it so you can give around 260 or something so so this is the you know curvature through which your slot is going to happen so it is going to look like knurling when you have done the circular pattern so I'm going to click OK. So then I'll select this point. I'll use the extrapolate command. This is being used because I need to extrapolate a little bit of uh, this particular curve. I'll select the curvature so that I'll get the curvature and uh, I'll click OK. So once that is done, I'm going to create a plane over here at this point. Click OK. So once that is done, so half the work is done so now I need to select this curvature and I'm going to insert, I'm going to go to the, um, the the mirror command so I can't uh, find the mirror command here so, so uh, what I'm going to do so let me just uh, yeah okay so once that is done I'll select this I'll select the plane and I'll click this one click OK so now what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, convert this uh, surface into a part so I'll come to the path design workbench go to the insert and the surface base feature just close surface and select the revolute one and click OK so once that is done this this is where people get confused what you need to do exactly is right click on this and click the hide so the surface goes off and you can see the part does part over here. Now select this plane and uh, you know you're gonna sketch some profile which is gonna do the cutting for you. Now select this point you know and uh, this point and this line so distance around 38 and uh, click OK and this angle should be around uh, 80 and this and this should be around 40 so now come out of the sketch and what you're going to do you're going to select this and do the slot and click on this center curvature and uh, right select this and reference surface click over here so now you have the slot being made in this fashion now click OK and select this slot and go to the insert and uh, select the circular pattern in the complete crown and this instance should be around 30 so let's see how it looks like mm, reference element should be this one so just click OK so this is going to take a little bit of time so it's done here so now you need to make on the other side so I'm going to select this I'm going to put the sketch and I'm going to make another profile here 
which is identical to whatever I've done just before. So 80, and again here 40, and uh, this point, coincidence, and this distance. So 38. So when you're doing it for the first time, give the dimensions just like whatever I've given so that we won't find any kind of difficulty once you do it. So now you select this slot and select this and uh, come over here, reference surface and uh, no, select this reference reference surface so if you're not able to find the reference surface just select over here as the revolute one and uh, click OK so you're gonna get some warning so it's not a big deal so you can select the slot once again go to the insert transformation so go to the circular pattern and click the complete crown and reference element is uh, you know right here so this reference okay so now 30 now uh, once you click OK, it's going to take a little bit of time, so you can just wait till it comes. So the second command, which completes the complete neuralink command, will take some time because uh, this is the final, uh, you know, the final output you get, and uh, you know, this is this completes the neuralink. So uh, I hope you can follow exactly however I've gone through and uh, complete this. So you need to start with the surface itself. Don't try with the part because you're not going to succeed with that. You need to create the surface first and com uh, you know change it to the part using this close surface command. So uh, I hope you can I mean you know you can try it out and I hope you enjoy it and thank you.